We have built some of the most epic survival shelters on YouTube. Some of them have been underground, some have floated on the water, and some even hidden in plain sight. We have pushed our building skills to the limit to create some of the most epic builds for your viewing pleasure. And just for you guys, we have saved the most epic survival shelter we built for last. First, let's start with the most realistic Minecraft house you've ever seen. This is heavy. Oh, this is a real life Minecraft plank block. Today we're using blocks like these to build a real fully furnished Check out this real Minecraft block. It's made out of real wood. Jeffrey, it just looks like a cube. That's Minecraft. Yeah, that's what Minecraft is. Do you hear the babies crying? You're supposed to come help us. But it's a Minecraft block. It's like real. Can I turn it into furniture? So our wives don't actually play Minecraft, so we're going to have to do a really epic job on this house. We're going to impress them. Yeah, you got that right. Yeah, you better. So we're gonna bring them in a little later. Right now we only have a few Minecraft blocks, so if we're gonna build an entire Minecraft house, we have to go craft some more. So let's go do it. We're now in the wilderness because just like in the game, we have to collect materials. So Minecraft Steve said that we can only choose one of these chests. One of them has foam tools, the other one has real tools. So choose wisely. I get to choose? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and choose left because when I try to choose the right one, I fail. That's why we're going with left here. Jeffrey, I said choose the right one. How am I supposed to Jeff, get? Jeff, you just broke the chest, bro. This isn't a diamond axe, it's breaking. Wait, 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 okay, okay. Let's actually make some real tools, follow me. Diamond schmimage, look at this. Got some rocks. Got some sticks. We can make weapons. Heck yeah. It's like magic. Boom, baby. Ooh. And a sword. Come here, Poppy. Oh. oh no, it went in the cactus. Now you have to go into the cactus. No. Ow. Let's try this again. Wait, 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 wait. All right, that's right. See that? So Chris, I'm gonna chop down this entire tree. Okay. Yeah. This is tiring, dude. Rock collected. Oh, my pickaxe broke. Hey Jeff, do we need any sand? What? Sand. If you could put it in your inventory, you can toss it to me later by pressing Q. Is that how you put it in your inventory? <laughs> so I've got about 12 logs. That's 12 times four is 48 planks. You can make sticks. You can make a crafting table. You can make a door. You can make a trap door. You can make stairs. You can make... Oh, Jeff, I found coal. Got some coal. Woo! That's a lot of logs, baby. Heck yeah, dude. Nice job. What else do we need? We need some sand. I already got sand. I think you need some more. You gonna put it up in your inventory? Right here. Thanks, Jeff. Does your underpants have any storage? Thank you, Jeff. Next up, we gotta craft our materials. I have 12 log blocks here. Yeet! This is absolutely sick. It is a childhood dream come true. Now we just need a bunch of oak planks. You can stand on them. I just cringed. We've officially finished all of our building materials. Check this out. We have a lot of blocks here. Careful, bro. Our build team did over a thousand cuts to build these blocks, so ton of work. And then these boxes over here, they were literally flamethrowered to get this look. Great job, build team. Oh, there's a spider. You know they're friendly during the day. They're friendly, see? Minecraft spider. Now we have to get all of these blocks and move them over there. Build, build the house, house and press the wives. And press the wives. You guys have no idea how heavy these are. Chris thinks that these are heavy. Oh, oh shoot! Don't break it, bro. Jeffrey. So Jeff, normal physics don't work like Minecraft physics, so how do we get this piece to come up here so we can put a window on it? Well, underneath? Chris, we're technically, we're in real Minecraft. So if we just put it here, it'll stay. I don't think so. No, just watch. Put it in place. So if we let go, it should just stay. What the heck, dude? Minecraft! Last piece.
This is day two of our build, and we have to hurry because the wives are gonna be here in one hour. So first, we gotta put these panes in tape. Villagers, can you? They want emeralds, that's why they're mad. Bro, look at these torches. These are real torches. Oh my gosh, light them, dude. We'll light them once the wives get here. If we catch our house on fire, that is gonna be really bad. As you can see, just put the panes in. Nice. Another dimension. Dude, this is looking sick. Earlier today, I went on a little adventure, and I found a village, and I took some beds. Chris, come on. It's your bed, bro. Could we have made this door a little bit bigger? I'm gonna set my spawn point real quick. All right, spawn's point set. Jeff, you see this line right here? If you so much as throw a sock on my side of the line, I'm kicking you out. Jeff, you smudged my window. Wow. Hey, no, no, no. Chris, set your spawn point before I kill you. No, actually don't. I'm just gonna kill him. He's gonna spawn back and it's- no. <laughs> Dang it. I just set my spawn point. That means I'm stuck with him forever. Unless I break your bed. I have 2,000 beds in my inventory. Show me. Okay, I, I really hope this chest fits in the door, otherwise oh, we're gonna- Oh shoot! I don't think it's gonna fit. If we take off the latch and then put it back on, we'll be able to fit it through. Okay, now this will fit. I'm gonna go on a little side quest, so I'll be right back. Why is he always doing all these side quests? This bridge is so scary, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna get this guy. Jeff, wherever you are, we have 30 minutes! Oh no, the wives are coming. Build the house and press the wives. Build the house and press the wives. Hey, Mr. Sheep, can you help me with the Minecraft house? Because Jeff's not helping me. Ah. How do you make a friend with an animal in Minecraft? Ah. Hmm. <laughs> All right, come on, Sheep. Take that, Chris, you bossy boy. Ah. We've got an hour before we leave. You know what, Chris? That's what you get. Oh, I think I just dropped all 2,000 of my beds. Yeah. Three. Hey, Chris! I got back from my quest. I think you shot me. Chris, remember, the ladies are coming. The ladies are coming. Uh, Jeffrey, what is that? Oh, Jeff, what is that? Oh, we got creepers! We gotta craft a weapon, bro. So, what, there's a yeah. creeper chasing us, bro. Jeff, there's stuff right here. Oh, shoot! Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> Two words are ah. happening, bro! Oh, Jeff, sick. hurry! I got a stick! Oh, we got a sword, okay. Yes, I got a sword too! Oh shoot, there's so many! Right. Come to Papa! Get that one, Jeff. Woo! First creeper. Stay back! Hi. Jeff, we gotta get the door up! Oh. Ah. This is fast, bro! Where'd you put the door? Oh, it's over there! Get it! Chris, I got the door! One. Let's hide in the house! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Jeff, what are you doing? Ah. Ah. Jeff, you put the door on, bro! Hey, you! Four creepers left, Jeff! Oh, okay, Jeff, you're good. Come out, come out. Is there more creepers? Yeah, dude. All right, Chris, I'm here. Only two left. We did it, dude. The lives could come any minute now. Well, at least we got rid of the danger. Oh, wait, the furnace. We gotta get the furnace. Oh, we never put the door quickly, on. Quickly, quickly. We got a working door, baby. Well, we put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. We almost got blown up. So. This thing is legit. I think they're gonna love it. Oh, here they come. Ladies. Hi, ladies. Come here! It's a Minecraft house! So we've been absent because we've been doing this. This is a fully furnished Minecraft house. Jeff, light the torches. Oh yeah. Just don't get caught on fire on the way in. Go on in. I love Minecraft! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> Are these clothes hangers? No. This is not. Yep. What about in here? Is it a chest? Yeah, it's a chest. What? There's currently nothing in it, but. <laughs> ah! Oh, what the? <laughs> I was supposed to scare you. <laughs> <laughs> now you scared me. <laughs> so, what would you rate our Minecraft house? Well, you didn't have snacks, so that's off a point. But you have some window covers, so that's nice. What's the rating? <laughs> A seven? Nine Minecrafts out of ten. Nine Minecrafts out of ten. Comment what you think about this. Toodles. Mine, 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 mine. If you reconsider your rating, I'll let you out. No, I rated it zero out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath my feet, I built a tiny underground bunker. Check it out. Hmm. Ooh, nice and cozy. Bro, this is tiny. I'd like to see you do better. Okay. Hello? Yeah, I need help uh, building an underground bunker. Okay. 
Thank you. You know, I, I, uh, I feel like I could get used to this bunker. It's little, but it's nice. You know, I don't need much to be... What the heck is that noise? What is that? Chris, what are you doing? What the heck could he possibly be doing out there? And it's done. I finished the bunker. Underneath my feet, I have a giant underground bunker. So Jeff is gonna be very jealous. So let's uh, hop inside. This bunker is legit. So right here, you got this nice yellow couch for when you come down from the hatch, you get a nice little soft cushion. And I'm about to give you guys the full tour. So this is the main room. And as you can see, we've got some bunker entrances on the sides. We have six of them. So let's go check out the first one. All right, so now we're gonna show you guys what I've done to the place. So if you look in here, um, this little bin of delicious candy. Oh, I think we're done with warheads for now. So this first bunker is the garden. Dude, this is so cool. Look, we have bubbles. <laughs> bubbles keep hitting me in the face. So we have a beautiful painting right here. Really nice decorations. This is my gardening kit. We got everything that we could possibly need to garden. We've also got a garden hose right here. We also have a beautiful hose nozzle right here so I can water all my beautiful plants. Look at that. With my garden, I could probably survive for about three weeks down here because there's actually nothing edible. <laughs> All right, we'll go into this compartment, um, which I gave myself some snacks here. As you can see, we got a clip bar. Go over here. Oh, bro. You got my Nintendo Switch that we're gonna play for a few minutes. Also, I kind of want to add some addition to this place because it's not very personal. I'm gonna put my rhino decoration. Boom. So my next decoration, I got this flower thing and I've got a giraffe. Don't really have a lot of place to put this one. So I guess I could put it in here. And then I have a poster. So I got my cool poster. Boom. Got my nice little lawn here. Dude, check that out. <laughs> Gotta water all my plants. And then I can also give myself some water. <laughs> Maybe I should just go to the kitchen to get some water. Let's go check out the kitchen. So before we tour the rest of the bunker, we wanted to give a big thank you to Epic Games for sponsoring this video. Naruto, the number one most unpredictable ninja and host of the all-powerful Nine-Tailed Beast is ready, along with the rest of Team 7, has joined Fortnite and is ready to take you through to a victory royale. Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi have entered the game, and so has a new glider and emotes. Yeah, and glue that holds Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke together, the copy ninja himself, Kakashi, has covertly placed himself on the island, ready to set you up with ninja-themed quests and missions to earn rewards. When you're ready to explore more, you can find Naruto in front of the Hokage resident, who will guide you to the Hidden Leaf Village adventure map. This new game drop is one that you do not want to miss. Be sure to jump on and play Fortnite now to experience Team 7 in all of their glory. Click the link in the description box below and make sure to check them out. Yes, I won. All right, well, we have so much bunker left to explore. Let's go check out the other rooms. Dude, this place is so big I could get lost in it. All right, guys, it's fully decorated. Isn't that great? Boom. I feel accomplished. Oh, yes, there's snacks in here. I'm hungry. All right, so got a little tiny chair to sit in. My table. So yeah, this is my kitchen. Got everything that I could possibly need here. Got a sink to wash the dishes. Got a toaster. We got some paper towels. Coffee maker. Heck yeah, I love coffee. I also have a nice hardwood floor finish. This is so cool. I have some vegetables here. Bottoms up. A little tinge of dirt, but that's okay. It's understandable because I'm in a bunker. All right, moving on to bunker number three. So I'm actually getting pretty hungry. So um, I have a pot with some ramen. I don't have any running water, but you know, we got to make do with what we got. This is the bathroom. You know what? I just realized I don't think Jeff has a bathroom. Uh, uh, what? what are you doing in here? I'm showering! Get out of here! I'm sorry, Johnny. That's uh, okay. I should have knocked. It knock next back. time on okay. our door. Okay, okay. Well, let's go check out the bathroom now that Johnny is done with it. Dude, dude, it stinks in here. All right, so this is the bathroom. We've got a full-blown shower. We've got some towels and... Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna have to call a plumber. Well, at least I have some soap in case my hands get dirty. Dude, we have a toilet. Oh, trust me, I know. Check this out. Another thing that's kind of a problem that I'm just realizing, there's no bathroom in here. You know, I might just have to poop in here, but luckily we don't have to go poop right now. I'm really excited to show you the last three rooms. They're super sick. Hey, but nice. we should throw a party. That's a great idea. Hey, we got an underground bunker. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 don't go to the tiny one. That one sucks. 
Come to the big one. They'll be here in about 30 minutes. Heck yeah, we got a party coming. But I am getting pretty tired. I've been here for quite a while, so I think I'm gonna go sleep. Let's turn the lights on to a uh, soothing color, like blue. Good night. Moving on to bunker number four. This one's shiny. Dude. So this one is my arsenal. Got all my weapons. Check this out. Ooh, I wanna check out the armory. No, thank ah, ah. Man, defending your bunker is tough work. I think I might wanna go. Take a nap for a little bit in my bedroom. Let's go check it out. This bedroom is lit. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, what hey. The? All right, Johnny, take a hike. This is nice. So when I get tired and I can just take a little nap right here, this bunker is just so legit. I could just survive down here. We got Rubik's Cube, a little squishy duck. A baseball signed by nobody other than Baby Ruth. The details in this bunker are just absolutely amazing. And I also have a TV here, just in, in case I want to play Fortnite in here too. Are the friends almost here, bud? Five more minutes. Heck yeah, that gives us enough time to check out this last room. I saved the best for last because this room is none other than a bowling alley. This is so sick. We got a really cool neon sign over there, plus the little bowling and bowling pin light thing over there. Dude, they even got the little red triangles on here. First things first, I gotta put my bowling shoes on. That stink, dude. Hey, Johnny. Yeah? I'll give you a hundred bucks if you beat me in bowling. No way! You're going down! Okay, I'll let you go first, okay? This is what we call the grand old spare. That's four pins though, so uh, you have to beat that. I'm pretty sure I could do that. No! <laughs> All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I win. Well, that concludes the bunker tour. Can't wait to see what our friends think. Now it's time to party. Oh, perfect timing. Come on in. They're here. And party! Everybody here. Party? Is this our address? Yes. Woo! New crib? Yeah. All right, let's party. Let's party! Let's party! Let's party! What is that noise? Yeah! Yeah! Hey, this is crazy! It legit sounds like they're having a party over there. What is going on? Oh, Ooh, pizza! Hey! Oh, hi, Jeff! Hey, can I have some pizza? Uh, no. I'm just gonna crawl back into my hole. Get by Cruel World. All right, pizza, everybody! Yeah! Yeah! Pizza! Love pizza time! This is my yeah! pizza now! That's perfect, perfect pizza. Maybe I could have a party. Hey, you'll party with me, right? Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, ow. Uh, 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 uh. Draft's turn. Boom, 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 boom. Uh oh. Why isn't it going? Chris, it's stuck! Today we are building an underground secret hidden bunker where no one will ever look. Underneath the porta potty. Ew. To enter the four, you go into the porta potty and you go through the toilet down a secret hatch into the bunker. So it's gonna be epic. Just gonna be digging a hole. Rob and I are gonna head to Home Depot and get a porta potty. Let's get stinky. So I went to Home Depot, I rented this tractor thing. You? And I'm 12, I had no idea how to use it, but I'm gonna go dig a big hole. I love digging! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, the voyage. I'm gonna hop in this thing and let's, let's hope that I don't uh, Break it. Destroy anyone. Um, I'm kind of scared. Chris, you're gonna stay up Jeff, there? I told you to get a professional to man this thing. Does that look like a professional to you? He doesn't even know how to use this thing. How are we supposed to dig a hole if it doesn't work? Did you read the instruction manual? No. Hold that back. Hold that back. Pull it back. Press the yellow button. Press the yellow button. Press it. Where's the yellow button? Right, right there. there. Press the yellow button. Oh! But here's the thing, I'm, I'm holding the ignition. Why isn't it turning on? Put your foot on the brake. Yeah. There's no brake. So it says, in order to start the skid steer, you must be sitting in the cab with the safety bar down. Did you put the safety bar down? It's like a roller coaster. I'm strapped in. I'm getting off of here. Oh. Ah! Oh, Dude, if we had a professional, they would be down there halfway done already. Something's not right. Is there a parking brake? Okay, while Jeffrey is digging the hole, we have to go get the porta potty. So we need to call the guy that we're gonna be getting it from. Hey, how's it going? Um, yeah, so we're on our way to pick up the porta potty. Wait, it's not used, right? You sure? 
All right, cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll be there soon. Let's go pick up this porta potty. Guys, we've done digging challenges before, and I wish I would have bought this thing because this thing is really efficient. Woo! I'm getting good at this thing. That's a lot of dirt. This is fun! Okay, so we picked up the porta potty. Let's check in here. Yeah, that is a clean porta potty. Looks clean to me. Yep. Perfect. And we got all the wood from Home Depot for the bunker. Well, time to hit Chipotle and get back. Let's do it. All right, we are back at the dig site and we got all our Great. stuff. Look at my mound of dirt. Dude, that's huge. Guys, I took a lot of big dumps today. This is insane. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is one big hole. So it looks like the last thing we got to do is just level it out, build our little Bunker, we cover it up. Five minutes later. We've got a problem. Jeff got it stuck. He got the tractor stuck. I stuck. Whoa, whoa. It won't come out. Jeff, why did you go and do that? Watch. All right, we get it, you're stuck. Okay, so we need to dig out some dirt from right there. Make it less steep. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and tow it with this bad boy over here. So we're gonna get a tow strap. Turn it on, Jeffrey. Back it up. He's free, free at last. I thought he was gonna be stuck in there. Listen up here, ready? What? Let me out of this prison. He's a little monkey in there, I'll trap. Anyways, while Jeff's fishing, digging all this up, Chris and I are gonna build the walls so we can put in and complete the bunker. <laughs> Shut up. Ain't that right, Chris? Shut right. up. Watch out! Here's the port potty. This is gonna be our bunker entrance, and so we have to cut this out right here. So that way, we can crawl through the toilet. Whoa! Whoa! So yeah, we'll be crawling through the poop tank. So we need to cut an opening in the, the roof that is 36 by 16. 36 by 16, let's do it. I finished my hole! It took me five hours. It's just a hole. We need this hole, don't you uh, rain on my parade? You know what? Kidding. Just for that, I'm gonna go on a, a joy ride with this. No, don't do that. Hey, Rob, do you wanna know what I think of you? Bro, oh, no! No! What the flip? Bro. Man, operate this machine. <laughs> What's wrong with that kid? We don't like that guy. No, I'm just kidding. What's that guy doing now? No, 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 Jeff, no! Tiny house! No, bad Jeff. Bad Jeff. You can't, you can't have these anymore. Hey, I got some supplies for the fort. Uh, is that TP? What? Hey, what did you eat for lunch that you need that much toilet paper? We have some decorations, toilet paper, poop emoji stuff that's gonna be perfect for this porta potty fort. And a bunch of crappy people. We built the floor frame. Put it in, Chris. Hey. I love floors. Put in the floor frame. Oh. Boom, oh. floor frame. What? Floor flame? A floor flame? Now we have to put floor the plywood on. It needs to be level. Oh! 
Is it even leveled up now? It's level. Set it down slow. Yay, we have a platform. We have a platform. Yay. Ooh. All right, time to put the walls up, bro. Okay, so we got the ceiling right here. Okay, so we got the ceiling right here. Rob, you know what? What, Rob, you know what? Hey! I hope you trip. Perfect. It slides right in there. Just hold it right there. Get it, bro. We're almost complete with the box. We're putting the roof on. It is time to bury it. Day two. We're on our final steps. We got this box in the ground. It's like almost pretty much covered. So now we just got to cut a hole right here. What if I fell through? I'd laugh. So yeah. he's going to cut a hole through. I'm going to supervise. Make sure he, he doesn't cut his finger off. All right, here we go. Ready? Whoa! That was epic. Well, this is a legit fort. Now we need to put the porta potty in place and bury it by. Bury it by? What does that mean? Next up, we gotta cut a hole in this thing. Wait, 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 dude. I'm in here, bro, taking a poo. Oh, disgusting. Now look, I'm taking a sideways poo. I'm not sure if this is the best tool to use, but we'll see. I did it! Check out these death screws in there. Dude, that would that would not be comfortable. I gotta chop that out. Oh. 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 Come on, dude. Commence operation porta potty! Whoa! 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 Whoa. Whoa. That was dingy. Whoa, Chris! You told me to set it down. Guys, no one will ever guess to go in here and then look for a fort. They're gonna go, they're gonna poop. That's the one problem though. If someone finds a port there's poop on it. But at least we're safe. I never thought of that. That's actually really bad. Dude. Here, Chris, I'm gonna do the really easy task of putting the seat back on. You do everything else. I quit. We completed. we completed. Stop doing that. Stop. Do that. stop. You stop. We completed. We completed the porta potty, potty bunker, bunker that no one will that ever, no one will know, ever about. know about. Hey, Check it out. look at. <laughs> Get back in there. Swirly. Swirly. You got it. You got it. Ah, swirly. <laughs> Guys, we will admit. Hey, it's hey, a bit of here. a cramped entrance. Give me this arm. Wait, hold on. Give me this arm. I can't. Give me it. <laughs> 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 Ah! You've decorated the inside. You just ready to go inside? I just did the opposite of what a turd does. Let's go. I gotta go to the bathroom. It's bit occupied, but I currently do have to go to the bathroom as well. I don't think it's occupied anymore. Look, it's green. Hey! Guys, can I please get my some privacy? Come on. I made it in! Dude, this is awesome! Well, it is my turn to embark on this a um, soul-seeking journey. Did you notice that two went in? but no one came out. You're right, mysterious. Well, I waited long enough. Ah! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That's the biggest turd I've ever seen. Well, the toilet's clogged right now. Jeff, can you support my waist? No! Other way! <laughs> Other side, ow! Flush him! <laughs> Oh, 
Finally, ding dong. Now it's my turn. I'll see ya. I have a lot of sympathy for poop right now. Oh. Hey, it's turd number three. <laughs> this four is epic. We got some lights. We got poo poo buddy here. Dude, I'm so thirsty. You need some TP? I'm gonna drink some gator pee. Gator yes. pee. Yellow Gatorade and chocolate pudding. I Jeff. love pudding. Hey Jeff, what time is it? Slurpee time. Whoa. Ew. Ew. What? Look at your lips. Oh, perfect. That's gross. I even get to wipe. <laughs> gross. It's time for Chris to get some Slurpee. Much cleaner than Jeff. Dude, this pudding is so oh. good. Oh, shit. I asked for the extra beans. And oh, I didn't know. No, no, no. no. Today we're building an epic zombie apocalypse survival camp. We're gonna have an epic wall. There's gonna be so many decorations inside and it's gonna have everything we need to survive. If you wanna see us do an overnight challenge, make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned. Let's get dangy. If you wanna know what we've built so far, you're looking at it. This is what the wall is gonna look like. We just have to finish the whole frame. Also, it's really windy and I think this is gonna blow over if we don't get the whole structure fixed. So guys, I'm gonna stand here, brace it. You guys need to finish building it. Otherwise this thing's gonna fall over. Okay, well, this is bad. So this wall is 20 feet by 20 feet. We built a bunch of 10 foot walls. So this thing is huge. Ah! Oh shoot, it's getting pretty windy. It's gonna blow this thing over. Jeff, we need to put wood posts to brace it. All right, this is the final piece right here. Good work, Chris. The walls are almost complete. Good work, you're the best. Dude, Ryan, you're the best. Next up, we have a fun little time lapse of us putting the metal and the wood posts on. What's going on? The wind is almost blew this wall over. I ran over here and Try to save it. That's insane, it just went up like that. These sheet metals are just like sails. So we're doing what we can to strengthen this wall, but right now I'm just here for mental support for it. So uh, you're doing a great job. We're putting some uh, supports here so that way I don't have to stand here the whole time. The last thing we want is a bunch of sharp sheet metal flying through the air. We have completely finished the wall. As you can see, we've added some decorative spikes here. See Ooh. how deadly that is? We do have to build one more section, but the whole wall is complete and it is epic. Lots of supports so we don't die. We are not even close to being done. We have lots of decoration and we also have that giant door to add. So stay tuned to the door because it's epic. I actually have completed the door, but we need more people to put it up. They're eating lunch right now. Look at this door. This is a patented design by Jeffafa. You take these here, you eyeball it, and you screw it. Amazing. And then you, then you take the other one, you eyeball it, and you screw it. Like that. Wonderful. Look like how it just stands up by itself. Ooh. Jeffafa's patented design. Who could have thought of a better idea than me? I designed this whole thing! Wow. All right, so this death spike is complete, and now we put it here. Look at this. Dude, this honestly has to be one of my favorite builds. Next up, we have the door. Oh, Dude. this is heavier than I thought. Really? Yep. <laughs> this right. is gonna look legit. Hey, good work. Continue. Dude, this, this is, is heavy. This is really heavy, dude. They need to shut up. I'm helping. I don't have any leverage. Good job, guys. We're running into some major problems. Problems that hopefully we can fix. Watch out, dude. Back up. Back. I want you guys to meet our new PA, David. Hey, how's it going? He's the fifth danger, bro. <laughs> We've completed the door. This thing is actually really heavy. Come yeah, inside. This door is giant, so come on in. MTV Cribs, apocalypse style. Close the door. Don't you just feel so safe and secure in this little in in uh, closure? So all we need to do now is decorate it. We're gonna put a kitchen in this corner. We're gonna build an armory in this corner. We're gonna have sleeping tents right here. 
and a fireplace in the middle and scaffolding in the front for watchtower. So let's do it. Hey guys. What? There's a giant dookie in the middle of our fort. Shoo! There's a what? Dude, Jeff, you just stepped on a dookie. Whoa! You stepped on another one. Whoa! I got, it. Fort. I got it, I got it. Yeah. Yeet it, David. No, yeet it over. Hey, no, watch this, watch yeet this. Yeet it. Okay, yeah, yeet it. Yeet! Yeah. <laughs> We're building a structure right here that we're gonna have the kitchen and the armory inside. And we're gonna put the metal roof on the top of this, so then. It's actually plastic, but it's cool, it looks black. Okay, Chris, you gotta screw this one in, Buster. You're kind of taking a long time, and I need to hurry up. You know what, Jeff? A lot of people. Because he's always saying, hurry up, guys. You know, Chris, I do mighty like this structure. Me too, it's looking pretty so, nifty. Honestly, this might be my favorite build we've ever done. Yeah, this is pretty stinking legit. All right. No one had faith in me with this design here. Chris was like, it's not gonna work. And then I was like, it will. It's not gonna work. You're crazy, dude. I think this is quite sturdy. Oh, this is very amazing. Ryan, you're gonna break it, bro. Dude, Ryan. It's really sturdy. What are dude, you talking Ryan, about? Guys, Ryan is known for ruining things because he's messing around and then he just breaks. Ryan, stop. Ryan, you're so destructive all the time. You're break it. It's not, I'm not destroying anything. Look, it's fine. This is dangy, bros, not destructive, bros. Hey, and if anything, it shows how much Ryan thinks my design is strong. Yeah, see? Howdy. Now we're putting the roof on. Whoa, dude, this is cool. This must be my favorite build ever. So we have pegboard. We're gonna put it on this wall and we're gonna put all sorts of weapons on this wall. And then the kitchen section will be here. I like this build. I designed this whole thing! We gotta screw it in. You do it at the top. I'm not doing it. You do it. I'm getting some water. Can you give me some? Nope. Jeff, I'll get you some milk. <gasps> Thank you, Ryan. <gasps> It didn't work. <laughs> I just want to say that if the end of the world actually happens, come to our house. I've got the pegboard right here for the weapons. So we got to mount this up here so that we can just grab our weapons and go. The zombies come. We decided to take off the scaffolding so that way we have more room in here. But it is so legit up here on the scaffolding. And it's perfect. If zombies come, then we just come up here with our weapons. Pew, pew. Take them out. Look at this place, this is sick. It's not done yet though, we still have a bunch of things to add before this thing is ready for the invasion. I'm gonna build a campfire right here. Um, we need some big rocks. Oh is, shoot! Is this my... There's one! That's too big! No way! That's not a rock, it's a boulder! Pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. Here's a good rock right here. Whoa! Yup! Dwayne, is that you? Oh, one-handed. One-handed. Big oh, that's plenty. I'm adding weapons to our pegboard, as you can tell. It is looking legit. We're gonna put fix your face. Chris's weird looking apocalypse weapon. Hey. Hey, at least I'm putting your dumb weapon on the wall. Dude, that's the coolest weapon I ever made. Highly debatable. I like this weapon. Oh, this one doesn't work. You should use that box to start the fire. It didn't work. Is this the completing piece of the puzzle? The ritual. Our apocalypse camp is finally complete. Let's go take a tour and see what's inside. Well, first of all, marble on the outside. Check it out. I designed this whole thing! I mean, we got fortified walls all the way around with some look, sick metal. Look how fortified this is. Oh. Ow. It will withstand any RPG blast if it's a Nerf gun. We've got some zombie spikes at the front to uh, slow them zombies Chris, down. Please um, show them by impaling yourself. Ouch. It's right at the crotch area. It's not good. It's a no nose. Let's head on in here. Come through this very heavy <laughs> door. And check out the beauty that our camp is. Wait. What's the password? Poo 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 no. poo 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 poo. It's really easy. Dung flung. Kind of close. Dingy. Close. Dingy bros. No. That's dingy. No. Dingle. Come on in. Head on in. Okay, so we have a nice little campfire right here with uh, some nice seats. We got David. Chilling over there, eating right. a jello. Let's give David another big warm welcome in the comment section. He's a new PA, so. Hi. We love him. Hi, David. Hi. It's summer, so you can't actually. Ah! 
Sorry, it burned. <laughs> Fall, Rob. And now let's move over to the armory slash kitchen. We got some Fortnite nerf weapons. We got some real weapons. This bat will bash a head off a zombie. And it's gonna be a home run. Which is pretty good. So we're, we're prepared with weapons. And then here we have our kitchen area. A nice fridge. We have paper towels, we have freeze dried. Where is the burner? Did we forget the burner? We forgot the burner. There's a burner we have that will be here when we do our overnight video. Stay tuned. That will be cooking food. If you follow me over here, two steps, boom. You're at the campsite. Got all your lodging, your bedding, your pillows, your comfort, all in these tiny uh, little uh, tents. And the coolest feature, I think, of this whole thing is the lookout post. Take this here rifle, just boom, bada, bang, ooh, bop, ooh. See that zombie way over there? Yeah, you see it? <laughs> boom, ouch. He did. That zombie will say, ouch. And then it follows over, ouch, dead. If there's other survivors coming in, they say, hey, we need help. I'll hey, say, hey, hey, yo, stop! Oh, no, Chris, go demonstrate. Hey, don't okay. pretend to be okay. a survivor coming hey, in. Check this out. Jeff, where's yourself here? Minding on business, looking out. Hey, oh, hey, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it. Did shoot. you get bit? Don't shoot. Did you get bit? It's just a flash wound. A flash wound, that means feel dead for us. No. Yo, yeah. oh, stop! That's a great example of what sorts of scenarios we'll have tonight. Jeff, we got a zombie! Jeff, we got a zombie! I'm coming! Oh, oh, I think Jeff's gonna handle this. No! Hey! Hey! Oh, hey, God. knock, knock politely! Come oh, here, son of a bitch! Yeah! Oh, Look at this, Don Dilly fought right here. <laughs> oh! He just pants it! Oh, wait, come on! No, 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 it's just me. Wait, hold it, Howard. I know you didn't get the air scratched. Now you can't come back in the camp ever. Well, we really hope you enjoyed today's video. Click right for a previous video. Click right here for a video that YouTube recommends specifically for you. And we're going to be doing a bunch of danger videos with this. Go power. Uh, so stay tuned. Goodbye. This is a tiny raft. Help me. My brother and I will be surviving here for the next 100 hours and upgrading our raft each day. And the rules are simple. For the entire duration of the 100 hours, we cannot leave this raft. I'm not going in the water, are you? No, it's cold. We're stuck here, Chris. Oh, no. We're stuck. This is Raft the Movie. Also, each day at noon, we're gonna be getting a supply drop, but just to get it started, we're gonna get our first one right now. Thank you. Here, here it comes, Chris. It's coming. Dude, I'm so excited. I'm really excited to see what's in this supply drop. Oh my God. Dude, that's so far. Dude, Chris. <laughs> oh, dude, this is heavy. Oh, really? This is our livelihood right here. This is crazy. All right, let's see what's inside here. All right, we got a poop bucket, which is good because we got to go somewhere. Well, yeah, where else would we go? Blueprints. Look at this blueprint, bro. This is what the raft is going to look like day five. I can't wait, dude. Because right now we're just on this tiny stinking raft. I can't wait to have all this room. And it's going to get so much better for us. Oh so, dude, this gosh. is honestly legit. But the worst part is that we have to survive the night the way it is. Oh, dude, tonight's going to be rough. Next, we got a backpack. MREs. Dude. Looks like this is going to be our food for our stay. Bagged chicken? <laughs> that honestly sounds disgusting. We have two water bottles. So one for you and one for me. Well, we better ration that. This is mine. Well, Chris is a nut right there. Oh. The three basic needs for survival are food, water, and shelter. After tomorrow's supply drop, your food will be cut off. Dang, dude. So that means we're going to have to fish. I mean, look, they even put some bait, string, some hooks and they have two sticks right here how do they expect us to catch fish with these next we've got some sleeping bags in here nice we're gonna be sleeping on this raft and we got a bunch of clothes so we're gonna put our clothes on because we're both freezing cold right now yeah it's gonna get to like <sighs> almost freezing out here hopefully we don't fall in because <laughs> if we fall <laughs> Because if we fall in, dude, we're done. Yeah, we're done. We're gonna be so cold. This like, challenge will be over. I feel good. I'm like clothed. The thing in bag is gone because it was taking all the space. My bag. Our team's gonna come pick that up. What is that? Oh, that's why this is so heavy. It's our pillows. It's oh. it's all wet. Dude, what? Bro, why is that so wet? What the? That is literally not gonna dry. This is literally supposed to be our pillow. I have a t-shirt, a sweater, a flannel, a hoodie, and a jacket. Yes, dude, you have made my day. I think that's what this challenge is gonna teach us, Chris. It's gonna teach us to, to, to quiet down, to slow down, to get rid of all the noise in life, and just be stuck out here.
We're just stuck. We're stranded. Chris, right now, if we wanted to go back, we would have to swim. And that's like a mile away and it's cold. That is far, dude. Look at this. You look a ready. lot warmer now. I feel ready. You have blessed my soul. It has reinvigorated me, dude. Our little emergency radio, just in case we need to call for help. You guys might be questioning the fact whether we're actually trapped or not. Like, why aren't we drifting to shore? Well, so as you can see, see this lock here? There are four anchors underneath this compartment, as you can see over there, completely stopping us from drifting ashore. So once we reach 100 hours, our final supply drop is gonna have a key to where we can unlock this and take the entire ship when it's done to shore. So we just realized it is like raining like crazy over there. The weather was not supposed to be like this. And so we're starting to get a little worried that we might get rained on. And right now the wind's blowing that way. So if a, if a storm starts forming that way, what are we gonna do? Get rained on. It's getting cold though. And my pillow just fell in the water. It's gone. Great. We just lost another pillow to the oh, water. The wind, guys, the wind's picking up. It's actually starting to drizzle. Look at this weather, bro. Bring it on, Mother Nature! Don't say that. It's raining! Don't say that. It's raining harder. It's raining. Bro, when I it said that, it started you. raining harder, dude. Nature listen to you. Well, we made it through the storm. Now it's time to get ready for bed. Yeah, we're just gonna brush our teeth real quick. Life on, on the boat here is- Very minimalistic. You know, and it, it makes you appreciate the comforts of life. It really does. I would say though, like I'm like Dave, if I were to rate it out of 10, I'd give it a good like seven out of 10. Yeah, maybe six and a half for me. Well, we're all cozy in our sleeping bags. It's also getting windy again. The storm is like rolling in. Yeah. That's gonna be bad. But we're so excited because we're gonna be getting some raft upgrades. Yeah, tomorrow our raft is gonna be bigger. We're not gonna have to worry about stuff falling in the water. Well, good night, guys. See you tomorrow. See you. Peace. I can't sleep. Me neither. Can I get a rip in the chat, boys? It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm warm, but I'm just trying to sleep on planks. Good morning. Good morning, guys. So while we wait for the next supply drop, we're gonna eat breakfast. Let's do it, dude. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm actually feeling very good, Chris, after Me eating too. breakfast and getting ready. We got a raft shipment coming. It's the a next ocean. piece. Chris, this is the next phase of our adventure. The mega platform. I'm excited to have a lot more room because this thing is tiny. This yep. is not, look at this. We don't have much room at all. And we're six feet tall. Nice. Okay, that was a good throw. Ooh. Oh, dude. Jeffrey, bro. Here, give it to me. Hey, we're good. Okay, okay, ready? Don't throw it at me. Okay. Come next to me. E Nice. We're good. Okay, I'll pull you in. Pull me in. This is so exciting. Heck yeah, bro. The evolution of our raft is happening. It looks like we have two drills, some screws, a bunch of brackets, and there's actually a note. What's it say? For today, every hour for the next eight hours, you will receive another platform. The supply drop will still come at noon. All right, dude, let's get building. Woo! <laughs> I'm stoked. Heck yeah, bro. BD guess. Woo! Gotta line it up perfectly in the corner. Right there, right there, right there. Yes. Perfect. Look how much bigger this platform is. Now we have double the space. Heck yeah, dude. Bro, look at this platform. Dude, this thing already feels so much more stable. We have so much more room. We can just like stretch our feet out. Who knew that just one extra raft would just add so much joy. And we're getting seven more. I'm so happy right now. This is so much better. Next shipment's coming, Jeff. Oh gosh, we gotta get ready for it, baby. All right, you're grappling this time. All right, Jeff, you gotta yeet it. All right, let's see if I can get it. Oh, dude, that was such a good throw, bro. Dude, that was so good. Come on. Pull it. Boom, baby. Yes. I'll hop on it this time. Oh, nearly. All right, so this piece goes right here. All right. So do the same thing where you, yeah, you, you did that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, brackets are on. And you gotta dip it under there. Get lined up, all right, there we go. Boom! Okay. Three! I gotta put a bracket on the end here. It's gonna be sketchy, Chris. You could drop screws, you could drop a bracket. Don't drop the bracket. I will. Should I hold the bracket? 
dude, this is awesome. We can walk. All right, next shipment's coming, baby. Thanks, my dudes. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here yeah. we go. Get it, Chris. Yeet. Oh. Oh, I forgot you were holding onto it. That I scared got me. It. Dude, I'm getting better at this. It is now noon, so we're gonna get our second supply drop. Brand new supplies. And one more platform. <laughs> Bro, I can see it. It's right there. Dude, there's so much stuff on and I'm so excited. <laughs> oh wait, um, what are you doing? Probably shouldn't do that. Where is it going, where is it going? Where is it? Hey, come stop, 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 Took it. Jeff, you're gonna pull us. Jeff, that's really bad, that's really bad. Let go, let go, let go. Ah! I saved it! Dude, that could have been bad. It could have yeeted us off the platform. Dude. Look, because you tied it. There was nothing Dude, I could do. I saved it, though. That is true. It would have been a lot further out. Dude, check out all this stuff. Check out all that goods. Oh, fishing poles. Okay, fishing poles. A cooler. Chris, these are cots. Yes! Yes! Woo! Okay. We get cots to sleep on. Last night was so unbearably uncomfortable. So I'm stoked. Okay, so let's attach the, the platform and then we'll go through the stuff. Sounds good. Platform four and five is attached. We can start going through the stuff. We got another shipment of MREs. This is going to be yes. our last one. Oh, more water too. Okay, good. Dude, we also got this chest here. Ice right there so we can actually put our fish somewhere if we catch them. Dude, actual fishing poles. So uh, we're currently building the foundation for our mega raft. Yeah, only a few more. One, two, three, four. With each wrap piece added, we began to feel a lot more comfortable. It's very hard to explain how it feels being stuck on a six by six platform in the middle of a lake for 24 hours. Today makes us a lot more excited for what's to come. It's official, the mega platform is complete. We have nine platforms. Yesterday we had one, we were suffering on one, but now we have nine. All the room in the world, it's fantastic. The only thing that's bad about this, I have a headache all day. Uh, poor Jeffy, leave a like for Jeffy's headache. Well, we got our beds all set up. I am so excited to sleep. I think it's gonna be a lot easier. Hello. Mysterious stranger in the night. This is our producer, Michael. He's here to reward us with In-N-Out Burger because we hit our first fundraiser goal for Zoe International, which is the purpose of this entire challenge. Zoe is a nonprofit charity striving to save victims from human trafficking and give them the new beginning that they deserve. We originally did this challenge live and the donations Zoe received also awarded us with incentives here on the raft. You can still help those in need by donating through the fundraiser in our description. Thank you all for your support. I cannot wait to eat this. Here you go, ads. Heck Dude. yeah. Ready, boys. Appreciate Thanks. it. Boom. Have a good night. I guess we'll just be here. Dude, let's eat. Dude, let's, let's eat. eat. Dude, this smells so good. <laughs> it smells so good. Mm. Mm. I'm going to have to rate this day a 10 out of 10. So much better with a bigger raft. These beds, this food. I'd say mine would be a 10 out of 10 too, but I've been having a headache all day and still have a headache, which is not fun. What would you rate it then? Well, I'll just give it an eight, because we have a raft now, and we know we're gonna have a good night's sleep. Tonight we still don't have a shelter, but tomorrow we're building a shelter. It's gonna be awesome. Well guys, I'd say day two was a, uh, a success here. We're feeling good. And well, good night guys. Tomorrow we make this raft a home. Wish us luck. This is the biggest shipment that we've ever got Dude, so far. that thing is massive. It's weighing down the platform so much. Oh my gosh. Hopefully we can reel it in, dude. If I miss this shot, I'm jumping in the water. All right. <laughs> no. Come on. It's fine. Yes. Oh. oh. Yes, got it first try. Well, it wasn't that far, dude. If I missed that one, I would have been really sad. But dude, oh my god! Look at this. We better get building, Chris. How are we gonna know what to do with this? <laughs> what the heck, bro? We got some firewood here. Oh, dude, we're gonna have a fire. That's gonna be so nice tonight. Oh my god. Dude, they give us pots, lights. Dude, look at this, string lights. This thing is gonna be so awesome when it's done. I'm so stoked. As you can see, we've got a big project on our hands. First, we gotta put in the main posts. Got some fun here. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. One post. Well, if we haven't scared the fish away yet, they're gone now. Four posts. 
Five pulls. Six pulls. Last but not least, baby! Nice. Eight posts. That's all of them. Here we go. Eight vertical beams, Chris. Dude, this is going to be our house right here. Yeah. Like this whole entire section in here is shelter. And there's even going to be a roof. We're going to be able to climb on the roof and we're going to be able to have a ladder that goes up to the roof. It's going to be really roof. Roof. Guys, you're not going to miss this fort. It is... Yes. Sick. This doesn't. This can't even be called a fort, bro. This okay. Is a, okay. This, this is this a, is a mansion on the lake. There you go. Dude, this thing is a structure. This is so cool. It was built to fit together like a puzzle by our build designer, Jacob. Thank you, Jacob. And build team. We made it happen. And build team. We all made it happen. Next up, we put up the rafters. They're going to support the plowed up top so we can have two stories by the end of the day. Now, this is the fun part. Some wall frames. Guys, watch how this just fits in like a puzzle piece. Slot these in. Boom. Okay, once we get all these wall things in, this thing is gonna be solid. Yeah. Heck yeah, bro. Solid! This is a masterpiece. Oh my god! No! Yes! Sometimes you just gotta make it fit. Cause it go if you make it. This thing's getting a little sketchy. We're getting kind of nervous. This thing is creaking like crazy. We're gonna jam some of these walls in. We're worried that uh, this window may not fit. Please, Please fit. fit. Uh -oh. If this doesn't fit. Oh no, you got, you got room? There we go. Okay, here. I'll screw, I'll screw it down. Much uncertainty, Chris. Much yeah. uncertainty! We're running out of daylight. Yeah, the sun is kind of going down. I don't even know if we're gonna finish this thing, dude. This thing is so wobbly and crooked. And it's getting pretty cold, so I really want this up for tonight. Let's hope the other one fits. It's in. So now the entire frame is done. Dude, this thing is so creaky, just listen. I know, look at the wind. There's tons of, uh, you, you can't see the wind, sorry. Yeah, Chris, you can't see so it. So we're, we're getting a little worried here, but we're gonna put this side on first because that's where it's the weakest right now. Dude, this looks so sick. Dude, I know we got the uh, walls done. We still have to put the ladder, the roof, and the uh, lights and stuff on and they organize it, so. There's still so much to do, but it's gonna be so worth it once we get it done. Yeah, and uh, the ladder. Okay, just don't fall in the water, because we haven't fallen in, in yet, so. Okay, I don't know if I can do this, it looks hard. All right, here, I'll make sure you don't fall. Okay. Oh. Oh. One more, one more. That takes so much energy. <laughs> Uh, did it. Dude, we can go up top now. Careful up there. It's pretty good. Pretty solid. It's pretty good, dude. I was trusting it if I if it broke. Yeah, it I didn't fall right I'll into just the water. I'll plumb it straight into the water. So we still have to screw in the beams. That's what Jeff's doing right now. Yet. Okay guys, we finished the day three build. Are you ready? And there we go. Dude, I'm so tired. This build took all day and we finally finished. So let's show you the inside where it's all nice and cozy. We did it, Jeff. We built a house on a raft in the middle of a lake. Well, good night, Chris. Good night. Tomorrow we're going to be building the third story. Good night. We didn't eat dinner last night. This is our last food. Because this is like our last official heat up MRE. If we don't catch fish today, we're going hungry. Guys, the shipment's coming. It's got plants on it. We're gonna be able to decorate this thing. It's gonna look so good. Today is the three-story build, and we're gonna get all of the decorations and details. Dude, this is fun. Yeah. This is so much fun. This is a blast. Wow, guys. This is another big one. All right, if I miss, Chris, you have to jump in. Here we go, baby! Woo! Good hook. 
Dang, look at this. Let's tie it off. Bro, we got motors. That's how we're getting home tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day. All right, send them up. All right. <laughs> Solar. What is this thing? Look at that. Massive. Dude, giant batteries. Got two of them. <sighs> Nice and easy. Nice and easy. This is so high, dude. Be careful, Jeff. Dude, it's so lovely up here. Guys, you got the patio cover done, the railing. It is so sketchy. When you go up here, especially right now when it's windy and bobbing like crazy, well, let's, let's go show you. Check it out. It is shaking like crazy. Come on up, Chris. Oh my goodness. Imagine this ladder breaks, dude. Dude. So wow, this is shaking. It's like wobbling. See this camera movement? That's not me. That's the that's the thing moving. This is wobbling so much right now. Dude, let's try to stand up. Oh my gosh. Brace yourself. Whoa! Whoa. That is not that is not safe. Okay, not, not right now. When it, when it comes down, we'll stand up. We'll do that later. I'm getting down, dude. This is this is crazy. This honestly is. Oh shoot! Jeff, look! Oh no, the round is going! Where's the fly? Chris, go, 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 go! Get the grappling hook! Get the grappling hook, Chris! Run, 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 run! Get it, get it, get it! I, I'm literally stuck up here, I can't do anything! Oh no! No, Jeff, it's all tied up! It's all tied up! Our supplies are drifting away! Our supplies! No! Goodbye, supplies! I'm pretty sure tomorrow the wind's gonna be even worse. I figured out what happened! What? Dude, the rope broke. <laughs> it just snapped, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, we're just gonna have our support team come bring it back because that wasn't supposed to happen. Guys, the wind is honestly compromising our mission here. The anchors are getting pulled up. Chris, if this is today, imagine tomorrow. The wind's supposed to be worse. I don't know if our raft is gonna survive this. I got it. The wind is getting worse. Is it really? Oh no. Oh my gosh, we get a flex. Dude. Oh my gosh. Dude, look it. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my. This is so bad. So one of the problems, guys, is that this is getting all wet. And these wood pieces are holding it on and holding it strong. Hopefully it doesn't get any more windy, dude. I don't know how much more this whole raft can take. I think at the very least, my wife is going to want me to put on the life jacket. So I'm going to go do that right now. So our plan right now is to wait out this wind and we're gonna reinforce it. Our team's going to Home Depot to get some better brackets for the weak points on our raft. But I'm just really worried because tomorrow it's gonna be even windier than today. We'll be okay, just gotta ride it out. I had an idea on how to prop up the house and make it stronger. Look how the house is not a perfect right angle. It's like this. It's tilting. So we're gonna take that step ladder, jam it up, and then screw it into the house and screw it into the floor and then um, that'll definitely support it a little bit better. We took this one apart because we used the wood here to connect it there and make this part between the rafts stronger. I need it to be ideal at the bottom. Can you step on this somehow? This needs to be touching. Go. Farther, farther if you can. We need some weight here. Uh, if we get Jacob to stand there. Jacob, can we get you to come stand on the edge? We have, we're using this stair thing as a prop. It's gonna work at least somewhat. Yeah, I can get over there in a second. Yeah, we need more weight right here. All the weight is right on the cracks. All right, Jacob, we need ya. <laughs> come on over. <laughs> okay, Jacob, stand right here. Oh, it's almost at the ground. We'll both stand here. Dude, nice, that works. Dude, it's that's working. so good. Dude, that is solid. This is so perfect. And then I'll screw in right here. I think it made it so much more stable. Yeah, we should try to build something like this for the other side. Yeah, this side needs help. It's so bad right here. Michael's here. This is an emergency shipment. Get the lugs! 
So we're gonna replace this short piece of wood with these 10 footers. Oh, we can put oh, the thing back together. This. Heck yeah. Okay, so yeah. we'll do this on that side too. That'll oh be my good. god. Clutch, dude. This is so crazy, right. dude. Power of lag bolts. Nice, dude. That's solid. I can feel it. <laughs> Nice. All right, that one's it. Guys, we're fixing this thing, so we're not going to skip off on this challenge early. We're, we're making it through the end. Nice, dude. It feels so much better. I can already tell. Dude, that's insane how much we've drifted. Oh, my gosh. We're already at this blue one. I'm at. Hey, so we need you to stand over here. What happened? It's snapped clean! What? Oh! We're gonna be okay, Chris, come on! Look at that, that thing snapped! I don't know if you can see it, but it's broken right there. We're gonna reconstruct that. Put one here. Dude, it's so much better now. Look at that, it's barely flexing. Our efforts have fixed the problem. The boat is so much more solid now. We honestly thought this thing was going to fall apart, and it might have if we didn't have the support team come in. So shout out to the support team for helping us out. We have one more problem though. The wind is pulling us that way, and the boats aren't really strong enough to pull this thing. So we're concerned because tomorrow we got to get back to the shore. We were going to use our trolling motors. Not going to work. Absolutely not going to work. We're trying to figure out what to do. We might try to get pulled into a cove. We're going to contact the marina. Maybe they have a bigger boat that can pull us somewhere else. And then worst case scenario, we'd have to deconstruct this thing all the way back down to the bottom so it, it's not such a sail anymore. This is insane. Jeff, you know one thing that we can do? Put up the flagpole. Dude, heck yeah, I forgot about this thing. We gotta show this lake who's boss. Dangy! Dangy, bro. Dude, this is sick. You gotta stand up and clip it on. Be careful. Dude, it's so wild. Be careful, Jeff. There's one. Dude, it's like waving like crazy. Dude, this is so sick. All right, I got it. Heck yes, dude. Here, let's, I gotta get a shot with it. We gotta get a picture. Oh my gosh, dude. So everyone who donated to Zoe, thank you so much. In order to make up for the crazy wind tomorrow, because like we said, it's going to be way worse, we have an insane plan that's going to fix it. We're not going to be leaving the raft. We're going to make it the 100 hours. But you guys are just going to have to wait and see what our plan is in order to make it. So about to sleep in these sick beds, bro. Good night. Here's the plan. The wind is about to pick up to like 25 miles per hour. So we gotta get this thing torn down as fast as we can. You guys ready for it? Yes. Dude, it's so sketchy up here. It's like shaky. It's like the bird's nest on a pirate ship, dude. Take the flag. I'm gonna need you both ready to grab the plywood really quick. Got it? Okay. Jeff, we have six more hours until 100 hours. I'm so glad we're almost done. All right, the rest of the crew is here. They're bringing the dock piece and we're gonna unload everything onto that and then they're gonna take it back to shore one shipment at a time. Look at this, bare bones. This thing is no longer structurally sound. All right, we got one load ready to go. We're not taking the walls off. This is becoming less of a sail, it's working. Careful. We've been working on this all week and now we're taking it down before we expected. This is honestly kind of sad a little bit. 
Goodbye for shipment. We're making progress. We got all the walls off. This thing looks like, look at this thing. It's a skeleton. It's like shaking so much. Just in time too, the waves are picking up. I'm really like feeling the not have eaten for two, uh, how long? A day? Yeah, a whole day, I haven't eaten in 24 hours. I also dropped a big piece of wood on my foot and then I bonked Chris in the head with a piece of wood. Jeff, you're a hazard. This whole thing is a hazard. <laughs> We're the danger bro, what do you expect? Are you guys ready for this the last? Is the last post. Last post. This thing is such a mess. The waves are so crazy. Set it down. Yodel wave. Yodel wave. Detaching our second shipment, guys. No. What energy. Next one's ready. Goodbye, third shipment. Let's detach this thing. Dude. Bye, wrap. One shipment left. Okay, Jeff, this is the last leg of the race. We have an hour and a half left. I can't wait to be done. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get so much food. What? I am a little scared to just be on this platform again. We might go overboard. Yeah. Oh man, dude. Here goes nothing, Chris. Oh, the waters are right here, dude. Look at these waves. It's breaking. We're taking water. Oh, it's just gonna break. Oh, off. okay, okay, okay. Well, it looks like we're back to square one. It's literally a square. And there's only one. It's the first one. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. The goal was to bring the whole raft to shore, but this was literally the only way we could win this challenge. Now all we have to do is just suffer on here, now being just... freezing cold. We're stuck on one platform again. So once we get the keys, we're gonna unlock the anchors and then they're gonna tow us to shore on this raft. I think they're coming to get us. Yeah. It's almost been 100 hours. Dude, I'm so happy I get to go home. I can't wait to see my wife and my son and eat food and shower. Dude, come on, come on. Yes. Thank you. Because our freedom is in that bag. Bro, we get captain hats. Heck yeah, dude. Here, you want this I one? I guess we're captain of the SS Zoe, huh? I've got the key. All right, here we go, Chris. Okay, we're gonna start drifting, dude, once we pull up these anchors. Oh my gosh, this is getting so windy. Dude. Open it up, Jeff. <gasps> this is what's been holding this whole raft this whole time. The moment we've been waiting for. And we're free, Chris. We're free. We're free, close the hatch. We did it, Jeff. 100 hours. We reached our next donation goal of $10,000, so we kept to our word and matched it. The work Zoe does for those in need is truly amazing. Thank you so much for your support. It makes these next few moments so much more incredible. We're almost there. Dude. We are almost to shore. I can't wait to be on solid ground. Take the first step, bro. <laughs> Dude! Yeah! Christopher! My turn! Jump! <laughs> Bro! Oh my gosh, we did it, Jeff! We did it! This feels so good to be over here. I'm so glad to be off that thing! <laughs> bye bye, Raft! It's Dude, been fun! Let's get food now! Let's go! Guys, thank you again for donating with Zoe and supporting us. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. See you later!